Hey, what's going on, dudes? My name is Tezza. Guess what time it is? It is Tony time. He is back. We've got some more MLB 2K to bring to you. Uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic this game, guys. This is a bit of an insane one, so make sure you stick around for the whole game. And then before I start, uh, I'm sorry if it sounds a bit stuffy. I do uh, have something coming on. I will be coming down with something more kind of man flu. Uh, who knows? But this is the first time Tony will get to. Uh, play at PNC Park a lovely sunny day it is as well and we are taking on the Houston Astros so we expect to do well really no disrespect to the Astros they are not doing amazingly well in the season so far saying that neither are the Pirates but still we have got McCutcheon and Tony so this one will go into left center but Tony's not able to handle it that one gets past him back to the track comes over the throw too short not in time to third. Sadly, the Houston Astros take a 2-0 lead here in the second. And that is not a good start to the game. So with a runner on first here, the Astros seem to be threatening with one out. And Tony's going to go ahead and shuffle over to right field. This one potentially a fly out. And maybe tag him uh, going back to first. Who knows, here comes the pitch. No, this one's going to be a line drive, left field line drive, all the way to the wall. Tony not able to handle it once again. The throw to short, goes home. Is it in time? It is not in time. 3 nothing Astros, and Tony not very good start defensively. Bud Norris on the hill for the Astros, and Tony comes into the batter's box in the second with one out. And amazingly, the Astros have a 4 nothing lead here, so a bit of momentum for the Astros. We need to start coming back and shutting them down because, as I've already said, the Pirates have not had a great start to the season. We just need to find that flow. Tony needs to be able to fit in. Let's hope he can do it today. Already had a good game against the Reds. Can he improve here against the Astros? Swing and a miss, though, on that four-seamer. So I know I've been away for a couple of days, guys. Uh, I've had some crazy days. A lot of work recently and um, also uh, a few drinks the other day I had a farewell send off for a friend of mine who's moving away so that day I didn't really feel like doing any videos and like obviously work again but uh, yes so that's the reason this one though gets blooped into shallow left field Tony's gonna round first not able to pick it up in time is the throw in time it is not a double there for Tony of what would have been probably a single or maybe a, a shallow fly out but the left fielder was not able to scoop the ball in time and that allows Tony to get to first so of course with the speed of Campana we are going to go ahead and try to get over to third the Duke move doesn't work this time the third baseman not fooled the throw back to second is in time and Tony gets caught stealing for the second out of the inning not a good start at all here at uh, PNC Park for Tony so 4-2 is the lead the Pirates are able to tag on two to cut the deficit down to just two runs top of the fourth no outs here for the Astros maybe looking to build on that momentum that they've already had and can they carry on this one goes into shallow shallow left field ah my nose is so blocked <laughs> I really want to try and sound energetic but my face is all stuffy anyway nothing comes of that inning for the Astros and now we go to the bottom of the fourth Tony leading off the frame no outs here so two runs to build back up get ahead in the count is the plan but just get runs on the board is probably the big plan overall a lovely skyline view of Pittsburgh there and Tony gonna look at that one that one somehow sneaked into the zone that slider just drifted in didn't look like it was 0-1 is the count this one though underneath and past the short that's gonna go all the way to the track same as what happened to Tony in the first inning he's gonna round second can he go for third? The throw to short. To third is not in time. And a triple for Tony. So two legs of the cycle already done. The double and the triple. Could this be a start of an insane day for Tony Campana? Obviously now we want to go ahead and try to initiate the bunt. Or maybe even go for the Duke move. The bunt it is going to be. Tony's going to head home. A good solid bunt there. Tony able to get home with no issues at all. And the lead is cut to one. So the Pirates not giving up, trying to come back off that early momentum that the Astros had. 
was a solid bunt there, allowing Tony to get home standing. But a big moment here. And the Pirates fans are going wild. One out here in the fifth. There is still only one run deficit, but the bases are loaded. Tony Campana could hit a grand slam here for the third leg of the cycle. Then he would only need a single. One out though, so even a sacrifice fly would probably, uh, a deep sacrifice fly would probably score at least one run to tie the game up. Not going to be fooled by that change up though. Tony trying to work on his eye there, and that's one thing I've actually been trying to do using his skill points to work on his eye to make hitting easier. This one just over the head of the shortstop to the warning track it goes. One run comes in, two runs come in. Will the run around third? He will indeed. He's going to go home, but Tony's going to get caught going to third. A double only for Tony gets caught, but a base is clearing double it is. And the Pirates fans going absolutely wild as Tony heads back to the dugout. They don't care that he got caught out. He's driven in that tying run and given the Pirates a two-run lead for the first time this game. The Pirate faithful are going very loud here. Do we go to the bottom of the city? Sorry, the top of the sixth now. That two run lead is still intact. And two outs in the inning, so the Astros don't have a lot to work with here. This one goes deep to left. Tony's there. Raises the arm and takes it out. A put out for Tony. And the Pirates fans still in full force as they hold this two uh, run lead here. That lead is cut very short. Only a one run lead now. Tony's three for three on the day. Two doubles, three RBIs, and a triple. But the run deficit is down to one. It's bottom of the seventh. <laughs> Keep getting that wrong. Bottom of the seventh, no outs. Tony looking to do some damage once again as he steps into the box. Not going to be fooled by that fastball. Way down and outside. Tony is better than that anyway. You would be disappointed if he was to swing on that. Fastball going wide here. And that goes to left field again. Almost a line drive. Tony's going to round first. Head to second. Can he leg out a triple? No, it seems it will be limited to a double here. But still three doubles on the night for him. And the Pirates fans will be very happy that their newest trade is absolutely tearing it up here at PNC Park. First time they get to see him and he does put on an absolute show for them. And once again, Tony's going to try this juke move, I imagine. No outs here in the seventh. And they're going to intentionally walk the next batter. That's not really going to make any difference to Tony. He can still steal. He needs only his legs. He doesn't need other batters. So Ronnie Cedeno steps in the box for the Pirates. It's only going to go ahead, try the juke move. The third baseman fooled this time. And that slide means he gets all the way to third. Runners on the corners now. More pressure on the Astros here. Can Tony end up spreading that lead? He's going to initiate the juke move. Going to go home, but the throw is miles wide. All the way to the left fielder. And Tony keeping the fans happy. Forcing an error there off the Astros and getting that deficit back to two. The score now is eight to seven. The Astros are not giving up here. It is incredible to think how far they will go to keep up. Bottom of the eighth, two outs. Sosa now pitching for the Astros. And that deficit is only one run again. The Pirates just can't get away. And that two-seamer goes inside. Not going to be swung on. 1-0 is the count. Not a lot for Tony to do here. Only two outs. Could start a rally though. That one goes straight down the middle. So a single for Tony. And all he's missing now is a home run from the cycle. So many uh, hits so far today. Playing absolutely insanely well. Steel base is the goal. That is not an issue for Tony. You know what he can do. And even with two outs, he can put himself in scoring position. So the juke move. And the throw is back to first. Allows Tony to get to second with no issue. But another error. Sadly, this will not allow Tony to tag up. He didn't get up in time to start running again. Had he got up in time, you may have seen a double steal there. Sadly not. He gets in scoring position, though. Here is a chance for Tony. Goes to third. Once again, fooled by the juke move. He will get to third. So two steals in this inning. Absolutely on fire on the base paths. Tony Campana living up to his reputation of being a speedy guy who can also hit him out of the park. A 30-30 guy, you would hope. But we'll have to see. Can we initiate the juke move? No, they're going to go ahead and intentionally walk him, bringing up Sedanio again. And we know what happens when Sedanio's in the box. Tony can just run past him. Let's go 
ahead and take some steps off the base. Runs home. The throw is over to third. Not an error this time, but able to slide in and get another run. The, back, the deficit is back to two. Tony on fire on those base paths. Nine to seven is the score so far. That two run lead. Going to help a little bit going towards the end of the game. But what is this? A clutch moment. Yes, guys. The Astros never gave in and they managed to tie it up here. Sosa still on the mound, though. As it says, a clutch moment. The plan is to get a walk-off hit in a clutch moment. All those skill points coming in. 9-9 nine, nine is the score. How we have given up this many runs is insane. We're both runners in scoring position here, second and third. That one just chopped foul. Unlucky not to get anything on that and drive it to the left. So I won. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, one the count. This one just inside a fastball towards the knees. One and one the count evens it up. So we are in the bottom of the tenth. There is only one out. A sacrifice fly could score him. And how we missed on that slider. An early swing didn't allow him to get anything on that slider. One to the count. Tony in a bit of a hole here. Got to be careful. Got to be looking. Saw that eye out. That one goes wide for a slider. That evens the count once again. 2-2. Two, two. Tempted to maybe bunt here, but really want to get that walk-off hit. Two seamer way high. Not going to be fooled by that. A full count here for Tony. So if the clutch moment wasn't any more clutch, it doesn't get more clutch than this. Three to the count. One out. Here comes the pitch. But that will be a ball. Tony having to jump out of the way of that one. That will load the bases. Goal failed. Get a walk-off hit. But he's able to draw a walk. Wear Sosa down for the next batter. This time he will not be walked. Already the bases are loaded. He has to face him. And here we go. Here's the pitch. That one nearly lost there by the catcher. Ball one. So, sir, going to have to line up with a 1 0 count. The pitch is bounced foul. But will it be caught? No, that goes way above the dugout and into the seats. Souvenir for a lucky Pirates fan. So, 1 1 the count. Still anyone's game realistically. A bunt here would probably work, but you can't risk a double play at all. Too much risk in anything here. This one will go to shallow right field. Will the runner tag up and go home? The ball is caught. That is one out. The runner goes home in time. Walk off, sacrifice fly. And Tony gets player of the game. Well deserved also. Absolutely on fire today. And he ruled the Astros all over the show. Fair play to the Astros for not giving up at all though. Absolutely incredible performance from both teams. But do not forget the man of the game, Tony Campana. I believe, what was it, three doubles, a single and a triple. All those RBIs as well. Absolutely amazing day. All the stolen bases too. So if you like this, folks, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you check out my Call of Duty Ghost campaign. Let me know what you think. Link will be in the description below. And as always, dudes, I love you all. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.